Good morning, both. Good morning to you too. Lou is absolutely right. It's going to be pretty windy for the next few days. Very unsettled. The strongest winds look like being overnight Wednesday into Thursday. And although they'll ease a touch on Thursday, it still is going to be pretty windy. Now, what's happening is we've got a developing area of low pressure in the Atlantic. It's zooming our way, taking a lot of cloud and some heavy rain with it in doing so. But this morning, it's really quiet. There's some mist in some western areas. We've also got clear skies in parts of the south, so some early sunshine, but a cold start with some frost. And a weak weather front in the west is going to move eastwards, bringing a bit more cloud and the odd spot of rain with it through the course of today. Generally, we're looking at light winds. But through the afternoon, you'll notice some heavier rain coming in across Northern Ireland and western Scotland. And the wind is also going to strengthen. These black circles recognize present the wind strength of the gusts of wind. So you can see wherever you are in the west, it's going to be windy. But through the evening, the Met Office has a warning out for gusts of wind across northwest Scotland, 65 to 75 miles an hour. Now, it's not going to be a particularly cold night, but behind the band of rain, temperatures will drop a touch. So we start on Wednesday with all this rain across England and Wales. It doesn't really clear. In fact, it's joined by another band coming in from the west. Murky conditions across Wales and southwest England. And although it'll be a dry start in parts of Scotland, the rain already in Northern Ireland will sweep northeastwards through the course of the day. And again, it is going to be a windy day, widely gusts 40 to 50 miles an hour. These are the kind of wind gusts you can see as we go through the afternoon and into the evening, but they really strengthen as we go through the overnight period. And I'll show you why. So we've got the low pressure coming in. The front rattles through quite quickly. But look at all those isobars right across the board. Now, the strongest winds will be with exposure in the west, 65 to 75 miles an hour. But even inland, we still are looking at gusty winds up to 60 miles an hour. These are potentially damaging gusts of wind and could well be disruptive as well. On Thursday, the rain goes through, but it's followed by a rash of showers. And on the hills in the north, it could even be wintry for a time. And although, as I mentioned, it will be windy, it won't be quite as windy as it's going to be overnight, but you still will notice it. And the other thing worth mentioning is there'll be some big seas, some large waves in the west and also through the English Channel, especially overnight, Wednesday into Thursday. These are our temperatures. You might be wondering what is happening. So these are the gusts of wind we can expect on Thursday. And as we head on into the latter part of the week, well, we do have another weak weather front crossing. The isobar is telling you that it still is going to be quite windy. And even into the weekend, we've got weather fronts crossing us. So they'll bring rain with them as they come across. So in summary, for Friday, we'll see some showers passing as the fronts go through. There'll be some sunshine, still windy. These are the gusts of wind in these circles. Even on Saturday, it still is going to be windy and showery as well. So there's tons going on with the weather. But if all you take away from this broadcast is the strongest winds will be overnight Wednesday into Thursday, and they could potentially be disruptive and damaging. Lou and Dan. OK, I'm Carol. We have taken note. Thank you very much. It's a fairly quiet day weather-wise until later on this afternoon when the winds strengthen in the west and some rain comes in. And that heralds the start of a very unsettled spell with some heavy persistent rain and also gales or severe gales. I'll have all the details throughout the programme. Good morning both. Good morning to you too. It's a quiet day today for most of us until later on. Then the wind starts to strengthen in the west. And then that's really it for the rest of the week. We're looking at strong winds, gales, even severe gales, and even gales inland as well, as well as some heavy rain. But this morning, it's a cold start across some southern areas, especially with some frost. Here we've got clear skies. In the west, there's a bit more cloud with patchy rain. It's a weak weather front drifting from the west towards the east. But by the end of the afternoon, we'll have the first signs of that persistent rain across Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. And with it, you'll notice the wind strength in these black circles represent the strength of the wind gusts. Now, through this evening and overnight, this band of rain continues to push eastwards and southwards, windy around it as well. Clear Scotland and Northern Ireland with some showers, but because it'll be a bit cooler, some of the showers will be wintry on the tops of the hills, but no issues with frost like this morning as we push further south. Now, through Wednesday, the rain really remains across England and Wales. One band tries to clear, but another one comes in right hot in its heels. So it's going to be a wet day and it's going to be a windy day as well. Gusts widely, 40 to about 50 miles an hour. But it's overnight Wednesday into Thursday, we see the strongest gusts of wind with severe gales with exposure, even gales through the English Channel. Lou and Dan. 
Thanks, Carol. Anything else? That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> Just for you, Dan. Done. It's not going to be as cold in the next few mornings, actually, as it is this morning. Some places are still below freezing, and that's across parts of the Midlands and southern England. But look at the start in Woodstock in Oxfordshire. Beautiful sunrise, but a bit in the frosty side. Now, today is going to be quiet for much of the day, but later the wind will pick up in the west, and that heralds a change in the forecast from what we've been used to. Strong winds, gales, even severe gales, even inland we're looking at gales in the next few days and nights and some heavy rain. So we've got clear skies to start with, so some sunshine across some southern areas. In the west, there's more cloud with some spots of rain. That's going to push eastwards through the day. But as you can see, for many of us, it will be dry and bright. For some of us, it will be sunny. But by the end of the afternoon, more rain's coming in across Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. And it's not just rain, the wind is going to strengthen. Represented by these black circles, that tells you the strength of the wind gusts. Overnight, it's going to be windy. And you can see this band of rain pushes southwards and eastwards clearing Scotland and Northern Ireland, but leaving behind some showers. And in the tops of the hills and mountains, they're likely to be wintry. Now, as we head into tomorrow, the rain doesn't really clear England and Wales. It tries to, but it's met by the next batch coming in from the west. Again, gusty winds wherever you are. To give you an idea, the kind of gusts late on Wednesday, but it's overnight Wednesday into Thursday. It's a fairly quiet day weather-wise ahead of us until later on when winds strengthen in the west and we see the arrival of some rain. That heralds the change to more unsettled and very windy conditions over the next few days and nights. I'll have more details later in the programme. Good morning both, good morning to you too. Well, for some of us, it is a beautiful start to the day, as you can see here from our weather watchers picture in Kent. But after today, the weather is going downhill. In fact, as we go through the afternoon, the wind's going to strengthen in the west. We'll see some rain arrive. And then for the next few days and nights, that will be the forecast. So there's some clear skies across parts of England this morning and also parts of northeast Scotland. It's a chilly start. In the west, we've got some cloud with some patchy rain. It's a weak weather front moving eastwards through the course of the day. And by the end of the afternoon, we certainly will have rain across Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. But it won't just be rain. The wind is going to strengthen. And these black circles represent the strength of the wind gusts. Now, through this evening and overnight, the rain advances steadily eastwards and southwards, eventually clearing Northern Ireland and also parts of Scotland. There'll be some showers and on the hills and mountains in Scotland, they'll be wintry, but we shouldn't have any issues really with frost. So tomorrow, we start off with all this rain across England and Wales. It doesn't actually clear because another weather front comes in right behind it, bringing yet more rain. And it's going to be another windy day with some transient snow on the hills and mountains in the north. This gives you an idea of the strength of the wind gusts we're looking at in the latter part of the afternoon tomorrow. So easily 40, 45 for some of us, 50 for some of us, 60 miles an hour. But it's as we go through the overnight period, Wednesday into Thursday, the winds intensify. Even inland will have gales with exposure to severe gales and very large waves in the west and also through the English Channel. Give the season news. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's no flies on you, Dan. Good morning, everybody. Dan, of course, is quite right. Every day we show you our Weather Watchers pictures. We love them and we love showing them. And now we're asking you to pick your favourite winter pick of the season. There are 10 stunning pictures to choose from. And in order for you to vote for your favourite, you have to go onto this link, bbc.co.uk forward slash weather, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and then click on pick of the season and you click on the one that you like the best. On this link, you will also find the terms and privacy notice. And the other thing you'll be able to do as well is vote until 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, March the 14th. So please help us and do that. And you'll be pleasantly surprised because they are beautiful. Now, today, much of us or many of us are going to have a fine day until later on because later in the west the weather's going to change. We've got stronger winds and also some heavy rain coming our way and that heralds the change for the rest of the week. It's going to become much windier and also wetter. What's happening is we've got this area of cloud in the Atlantic. It's a thick weather front pushing from the west to the east, taking its cloud in the odd spot of rain with it. But many of us will stay dry with some sunshine today. 
that is until later if you're in Northern Ireland and Western Scotland because you've got thicker cloud and then some rain arriving. But if you're in the sunshine, gentle breezes, 11 to 13 won't feel too bad at all. Now, the wind is going to continue to strengthen as we go through the latter part of the afternoon into the evening and overnight. These black circles give you an idea of the strength of the wind gusts. Through the evening across northwest Scotland, we could have gusts up to 75 miles an hour. That's damaging gusts of wind. Meanwhile, the rain continues to advance southwards and eastwards, clearing Scotland and Northern Ireland and leaving some showers coming in on the gusty winds. Some of those will be wintry on the tops of the hills and mountains. So tomorrow it's going to be wet, whichever way you look at it, across England and Wales. We've also got rain moving across Scotland and Northern Ireland, not quite getting to the far northeast, and gusty winds once again. These are our temperatures, fairly academic, but 6 to 12 degrees. These are the gusts of wind that you can expect in the latter part of the afternoon. So you can see 59, 62, for example, to the west and the south. That gives you an idea of where the strongest gusts are likely to be. But if anything, they're going to strengthen as we go through the overnight period. Just looking at all the isobars on the charts tells you even inland we're looking at gales, severe gales with exposure. And there'll be some very large waves around as well in the west and through the English Channel. On Thursday, the rain does move away. We're left with some showers. Look at the wintriness too, but that will be on the hills and the mountains. And although the wind will ease a little bit on Thursday, it's still going to be gusty. You still are going to notice it. And our temperature is 6 to about 12 degrees, even if you have some sunshine. These are the gusts. So we've got 57, for example, in the North Channel, 72 across the English Channel. So again, large waves. As for what happens after that, well, Friday and into Saturday, the weather still remains unsettled. We're looking at showers. Some will be heavy and thundery with some hail. There'll be some sunshine in between during the course of Friday. These are the gusts of wind, once again, represented in the black circles. And Saturday sees further showers coming our way. We won't all see them. They are showers. There'll be some sunshine in between. Still quite gusty winds, not as gusty as they're going to be. And then into Sunday, we've got a more organised band of rain coming our way. So it's time in the next few days to batten down the hatches. Lou and Dan. Must oh, be battening later. Carol, thank you very much.